Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a new method to create malicious documents. If you've watched my videos in the past, you know that office documents aren't always necessarily benign. There's many ways bad guys can make malicious office documents that execute code. One old trick was having uh, evil macros in a document, and of course that trick came back around 2015, so that's one way. Uh, bad guys have figured out ways to use object linking and embedding to actually execute code from Office documents. And of course there's a number of other exploits that sometimes allow you to create malicious Word documents. Now over time, Microsoft has added a lot of security functionality, including something they call attack surface reduction capability in Office to kind of defang some of these old techniques. But today I learned of a new technique, a new macroless technique for creating a malicious Office document that can execute code. Now I saw this story today on Malwarebytes. However, the person behind it, Matt Nelson, the security researcher who actually found this issue, posted about it early in June. And essentially he's found a new file type, one called setting content hyphen MS, that is a Word or Office specific file type that can actually be exploited to not only execute a code from the command line, but to also evade some of Office's security mechanisms. Now I won't go into this in complete detail. If you really want the technical details, I highly recommend you check out Matt Nelson's blog post. It goes into a lot of detail, even has a proof of concept example. But long story short, he found this particular file type, again, setting content MS, which is essentially a XML file. But in that file type, there's actually a place where you can actually launch executables. And it's designed to do whatever this file type normally does. But he found that if you replace that with the calculator executable, just double clicking this XML file would launch calculator. And of course, bad guys know how to leverage PowerShell. So once you can launch any executable, there's ways you can uh, leverage this file to execute a PowerShell that of course would then load more malware Malware, or could even load fileless malware. The other interesting thing about this file type is he found a way to embed it in the Office document in a way to actually escape a lot of Office's security mechanisms. For instance, one of Office's mechanisms called attack surface reduction is essentially supposed to make sure that a Office program can't spawn a child program. And that's to get away from things like object linking and embedding tricks that can then launch a child processes or sometimes malicious malware. Malware. However, this particular file type is one that apparently ASR misses, so it's a good way to evade that particular security mechanism. Now, according to this researcher's post, Microsoft does not consider this a big enough vulnerability to fix. He tried to tell them about it, waited to see if they had fixed it, but they basically came back to him saying it is under the threshold of something they consider fixing. That said, it seems like a pretty bad problem. Long story short, if you open an Office document and double click on one of these files, it will automatically execute code without any other user interaction. So it's another way attackers might be able to trick you into installing malware through potentially malicious Office documents. In any case, great research. I'll be sure to put a link to Matt Nelson's post about this in our blog post associated with this video, so go check that out. That's it for today's story. Have a happy Friday. Thanks for watching.